If you get the feeling that your iPhone is listening to you, maybe listening to your conversation, there are definite steps that you can take to ensure your privacy and your iPhone is not listening to your conversations. I'll walk you through all of those, so let's jump right in. Now, the first thing, you need to know what to look out for. So if I tap on call recording or any kind of recording here, you'll be able to see at the top right is that orange dot. So that is what you're looking for. If you swipe down while seeing that orange dot, you'll be able to see here if you can tap on the orange dot, you'll see exactly which app or which service is using your microphone. That's the first thing to check to see what is using your microphone. And then I'll walk you through some steps to make sure that it isn't and some examples on why you might not see that orange dot, but your phone is still listening to you. So let's head into the settings of your phone first. And let's first just check a big culprit in your analytics. So you can see I can scroll down to analytics and improvements. And now this might seem harmless. It's just gathering analytics about your iPhone and then sending it to Apple. However, there is some audio data that is taken from your phone and sent to Apple. So you can see here, share iPhone analytics, iCloud analytics. One of the big culprits is improve hand washing. And it says help Apple improve hand washing by sharing limited motion and audio data while you're washing your hands. So it could include some audio data while you're washing your hands and then improve Siri and dictation, of course, also will include some audio recordings. Keep in mind, these are oftentimes anonymized, so they won't know if it's tied to you. But again, I don't necessarily want to share that audio data from my phone. So if any of these are turned on again, just toggle them off across the board. So I will go through and turn all of those off. But the next thing that I will do is go back to the very beginning. A big culprit is Siri. If you don't want Siri listening in on all of those conversations, there's an easy way to turn it off, but still be able to use Siri. To do that, all we need to do is go into the Siri settings. And instead of Hey Siri or Siri and Hey, you can see it popped up just then. All we need to do is switch this to off. And just like that, oh, there we go. Now, so it's off, and if I say, hey, Siri, it still won't pop up, but I can just press the side button because I have press side button for Siri turned on, so I can still use Siri, but it won't be listening in on those conversations. The next thing that we're gonna do is go back to the very beginning of your settings, at the beginning of your settings. Let's just scroll down and get to a big culprit that is the app requesting to track. So these are various apps that might request to track you and your activity across one app or multiple different apps. Now this could include some hearing data or hearing information, but most likely it's various websites you visited or things you've searched. But this is just a good cleaning house thing to do. Make sure you turn that off. There's no real added benefit to you to allow apps to track you across apps. And I would recommend turning that off. The next thing that we're gonna do is go back one, still within the privacy and security here, we're gonna scroll down and check where it says at privacy report. We wanna check any of these that have used your microphone. So if you tap on any and it says it was used to use your microphone, in this case, Instagram, you wanna make sure that you actually open that app up and you actually used your microphone. In this case, all right, I maybe opened up Instagram, took a little video, okay, that's perfectly fine. But if you see any apps on here that you don't recognize or you didn't recently open and use your microphone, that is a big red flag. So if that app did use your microphone, let's go back and go to the very beginning of your settings and then make sure that we do not give it access to your microphone. So all we need to do is scroll down until we get to microphone. This is every single app that has access to it. Let's say there's a specific app that you found was getting access to your microphone or using your microphone and you didn't want it to. All you need to do is find that app on this list and toggle it off. So on any of these, we can just toggle them off. And now your iPhone will prevent access to your microphone. The next thing that I would recommend doing, and this sounds really simple, but go back to the very beginning of your settings 
And a good cleaning house thing to do is just going through the process of turning your phone off. You'd be surprised how many times just turning your phone off and then turning it back on fixes a lot of bugs and glitches, including if you suspect or see that orange dot at the very top, just shut everything down and then in time, turn everything back on when you need to use your phone again.